To be honest with you guys, when I first saw Rarity in the beginning of the series, I have never thought she would be a fan favorite. I mean, she's a fabulous, good looking unicorn that works in the fashion industry. And fashion is not really my thing. Especially that the only fashion cartoon I know about was Bratz. So I had my doubts. But luckily I was wrong. Not only a good to love Rarity design and her generous attitude, the most enjoyable part was her acting. Tabitha St. Germain doing a great voice acting as Rarity in her fabulous moment. Chic. To her freakouts. So no wonder that a lot of fans really enjoy Rarity episodes, especially that in this season we got three Rarity episodes in a row, who is we like to call it the Rarity. It isn't a bony dictionary. Anywho, let's start with you the first part in the rarology, Catalot Boutique. And let's haul up, it will be a good start. So the episode begins with Rarity, waiting for her mail. The other day he's here like clockwork, but not today. Who could possibly be holding him up? I know how you feel. It's just like me waiting for a package as I'm ordering from the internet. After some moments with Pinky, she gave her a letter she was waiting for, and we see what this is all about. I have been holding out for the perfect location and it finally became available. So now I can fulfill my dream of opening a boutique in Cantonot! Congratulations, Verity! It's a good thing that I brought us up. Rarity makes a lot of dresses for big customers from Catalot, and she's really loved this fabulous space, so it's a good thing that she expanded her business. So after the opening, we skip in time to see the main six plus Spike visit Rarity new boutique, the Catalot Carousel. Rarity's such a savvy business pony. I'm so impressed she used the huge bonus she earned making the costumes for Sapphire Shore's equestrian wide tour to open the second boutique. Thank you, Princess of Exposition! So now we're meeting a new character. The Cantalot Carousel Manager, Sassy Saddles. I knew I needed a manager for Cantalot Carousel, so when Sassy showed me her resume, and I saw that she worked in all of the finest boutiques in Cantalot, I hired her right on the spot. Well, maybe, but you can't argue with resumes. The more places you work, the better. So Saddles doing a good job as a manager. She got a multi-point plan to bring Catalog Carousel to success, starting with a grand opening with a new line of dresses based on the royal princesses. And it just so happens there's a hot new princess in Equestria. In every poll, Sassy Saddles took you with the most popular princess. Yeah, but if it's our pools, they all end up Princess Luna. So now Mary is ready to make her odd feely dream to come true. So Alpha that said us is taking a huge charge of the grand opening, Rarity managed to show her new line of dresses to the crowd, especially to the fashion plate of the Cosmo magazine, which gave us more material of pony face memes. Of course, the dress that takes the main focus is the dress that Twilight wearing, the rain in stain. Because the dress is inspired by the stained glass window of a rainy princess! <laughs> yes! But of course, Sadas thing is a difficult name, so she advertises it as Princess Dress. And it was so popular that she take 100 orders of that dress. Uh, but, 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 but 100 orders? All at one time? But so she don't want to disappoint any of her customers, she vote to make all the orders with Words of Rarity, aka TLC, aka her new song. I want to love you. My favorite moments when a pony sees it That special gown that she just adores That pony's now in style My heart works so worthwhile Oh yes, it makes my heart, my heart just so It's 
to hear a nice song. Sure, it's not like Out of the Dress or Generosity, but it's really a nice one. We need to get to a reprise of that later. So I really do her best to give time, love and couture to every princess dress. But because she's making the same dress over and over, she's feeling really down about it because she became less and less creative. And when she's getting inspired to make a princess dress with a different design, the customer don't like it. Which is kinda agree with her because you can't change orders of someone else, but can you blame her? She lost her rules and became a one dress factory, even if her shop is the most popular in Cantalot. I have the most successful shop in Cantalot. I've gotten everything I ever wanted, but I'm miserable. So when sellers give her more 100 orders and literally taking the credit, Rarity had enough. This is not your boutique! And if this is what success in Cantalot looks like, I want no part of it! Now, make up flyers for a going out of business sale! I'm closing Cantalot Carousel! What? No! Oh, you can't, Rarity! I I've worked too hard to make this a success! I, I can't be a part of another failed boutique! Wait, what? Another failed... But Rarity said at the beginning... When Sassy showed me her resume, and I saw that she worked in all of the finest boutiques in Cantalot, I hired her right on the spot! So all those boutiques she works for failures? This resume full of lies! Well, sir, you did say you can help you with resumes. Touché! So Rarity doing her going out for sale business. And doing that, she realized that her dream wasn't about a boutique in Cantalot. It was about to share her design and dresses with everybody to see. So Rarity decide to not close the boutique, sell as a project for ignoring the rules of Rarity, and Rarity gives her another chance to manage in Catalot Carousel, where she's back to run her boutique in Ponyville. So, I have a lot of issues about this episode, and that's because... Who could that be? Yes? Hello there, we make sure that you don't say a bad word on Rarity. Whoa, whoa, I have nothing against Rarity, I just have a few problems with the episode. <coughs> Hey, wait a second! I thought you guys are Luna fans! Yeah, we fans of most of the ponies. We can't just do one favorite. Well, can't argue with that. So how did you know that I was talking about Rarity? Do you watch my show? Dead? And I'm living next door. What? That's right, I'm your friendly Didi Neperino. I'm doing meet a group every week at my house, so I hope we can share a laugh about the show, if you know what I mean. I hope to. <laughs> okay guys, let's go back and watch some fan videos. With my luck, those must be the hardcore fans. So how was I? Ah oh, yes! For a Rarity episode, it was kinda simple. There wasn't much drama in this. Not even a Rarity over dramatic moment. The only surprise was Sada's failure boutique mention. But we can see why Sada was a similar protagonist. But she didn't do something bad. I mean, she managed to make a plan to put Rarity boutique in the high success. She even made the grind opening to something to remember. And got a lot of connection to VIPs. The only thing she did was to focus on one dress, and because of that, the princess does suffer for this as well as Rarity. Because she wanted the boutique to be popular, and didn't want to disappoint any customers, she sacrificed her freedom creativity. So much that she chased some pony order without thinking of the consequence, so she won't lose her creative mind. As an artist, I can understand the lesson. You can't just create stuff for people cause you have to. You need to enjoy what you do. The most important thing is you love and share your creation with others who love your style. Most pre episode was about fashion, so I kinda got lost there. But since it's rarity thing, I let it go. The only thing that made this episode outstanding is the background ponies. And boy, we sure got a lot of new ones! A raven pony, a positive pony, a present pony, and... Oh my gosh, I fail! <laughs> what the heck is this? <laughs> Should I call it balloon? <laughs> Ah, good one, a balloon! I mean, a cute one! Cute as Pokemon! Like Snorlax! I mean... Hey, where did she go? Why is that Pokemon music? What is this guy? Oh, sweet man, I'm standing up! So, can you tell me how this happened again? She used Body Slam! It was super effective! Honestly, you shouldn't make more ponies angry with you. You're going to get a lot of enemy like that. What can I say? A comedian has to sacrifice a lot of things to be funny. Good thing I have a life insurance. Oh well, it's time for your spotlight, so I have to believe now. See you later, Doc. So for short, Catalog Boutique was kinda simple and dull. 
and still got a good creative lesson and a good start for a trilogy. So that's all I got today, folks. I'm Dot20 and I'm ready to take my spot back.